I just got back from work. Um, and as I was pulling in, Amanda was pulling out. So I backed out, and she kept pulling out, and then put up my hand, and she put up her hand, and she kept going. And then I got in, and she's taking all her stuff down from the walls, which she's been saying she was going to do, because she's moving out. She's moving in with a friend of ours. A friend of hers. A friend of ours. I know him. She's going to stay there, and then she's going back home to her parents' house for a month. She's getting surgery done to get her tumor out. And she's going to get her own place. And it's painful. Like my, uh, like my body doesn't want to accept it, but it's all part of the process. I know that all things return. And I feel like I have so much to say at once that it's all getting plugged up in this trying to get out. I'll pick it apart piece by piece. I'm uh, I'm gonna upload a couple other videos about uh, 48 minutes of stuff that we recorded. Me, David, and Dominic talking. I've been spending a lot of time talking to them. We've really been getting deep and and releasing. And then like it's crazy. Like Amanda will walk into the room and just be so angry, and it's it, it just everything shifts when she comes into the room. And I'm just kind of like try and talk to her sometimes she calms down then sometimes I just don't I don't try I feel like every time I try I'm sure it's it's affecting her but every time I try and understand her anger and, and communicate with her anyway I feel like the next time she's just pissed off again because her parents you know she doesn't she's not honest with her family about the fact that she's a stripper she's, she's got a lot of shame about it and so she's living this life of anger. I think maybe if she goes on her own path that she'll start to understand that and get control of it. But I can't make that happen. I can't keep her here and make her see that. I have to let her see that. And the only way you see it is really by taking control of your own life is by, not by watching my videos, but by making your own videos. I'm making an allusion to YouTube. You know, it's not about watching this. It's about making your own and having your own experience and, and coming to terms with your own reality and your own self-empowerment and seeing yourself on video and accepting yourself on video. I think the video, I mean, it's just about seeing and accepting yourself, but doing it on video is a great way to see it and accept it. You have no choice. You just, you watch it happen. It is in front of you. There are two of you. And you're becoming aware of who you are. And you see yourself, you see your flaws, you see your anger. It's very powerful. I, I've been kind of sad today. I've had a, a new sense of sadness, realizing and understanding that I'm alone. We're all alone. But we're all connected. But we're all alone. I grew up thinking that there was going to be another person that I could rely on that's the way it's supposed to be. You see your parents and you see them relying on each other. And, but that's not really what life is about. Life is about the moments. You know, you rely on the person that you're right around at that given moment. You don't, you don't rely on one person even when they're not around. You just connect. You live your own experience. You interact with the people that you're around. And I guess in those moments, you do rely on each other. You let people in. You let people affect you. But I'm not going to shut other people out because I have someone at home who wants me to be all to them. That will, that's self-destructive. It blocks, it blocks the path. And I've been stressed out because I've been thinking about getting a PayPal button and accepting donations in the PayPal button. Well, it's been on my mind, David and Dominic and I were talking about it, <clears throat> because I don't want to work at this restaurant, I want to focus. But then I'm like, well, but even being at the restaurant is like a challenge, is a focus, because I can become, I can feel enlightened in moments of work, work. What is work? 
you know, when it gets busy, it's difficult. When the body gets energized, it's hard to expand. But it's not impossible. So then I think, like, why? I don't want a, a PayPal button. I don't want donations. I don't want money from other people. I don't, I'm afraid of money. I'm af I don't want to take that on. I don't know that I, maybe I want to take it on, but I'm afraid, terrified of it because I've never had it. And everything I hear about it is that money corrupts. So it's like, I think that the, the, the life and the things that we do in life, we can interact with all that stuff and still travel the, the, the road to self-understanding and awareness, even with distraction, because distraction is not actually distraction. It just seems like that at first. But if you really look at it, nothing's a distraction. Everything that's going on at every given moment is a reflection. I've been having thoughts and then someone in the room will manifest the thought. Like it's a subconscious blip of thought about I'm hungry and then Dominic will say, hey, do you want some hot dogs? Or this happened three times with Dominic in the last month, two times in the last day. We've been just connecting so deep and so much conversation and so little anger, if any that I feel like I feel this connection it's more powerful than it's been than it was before and it's not so lonely it's just not it's lonely in like the sense of you know the superficial physical reality you don't get to rely on someone you don't get to put your you don't get to I don't know have a false sense of comfort by, by faking yourself into believing that this other person's always going to be there. That other person's not always going to be there. I mean, they're going to be there as much as you, you are in your mind, which is... I guess it can be, always. Maybe we can just... Is that why... But that's why, like, cult communes get formed, is because... The person in charge is like, everyone be around me all the time. We will live and, and explore ourselves. And then they fucking form a commune and isolate. And it's all about them. And then they go crazy. But by crazy, what is crazy? They end up killing themselves. That's usually the biggest fear is that people get together and kill themselves. Because I personally, and I see why. Because death is a release. It's, a, it's an understanding of how, how superficial this reality actually was. I think it's all, we realize as soon as we die or, or shortly after we realize that life was just a big illusion. So that's why people like kill themselves and have these mass suicides and it's freaky to people that don't understand what they're doing. It's probably freaky to the people that are doing it. But they're just like, they believe so much that they just do it. But I don't know why why anyone in their right mind would end their life except for the fact that they're afraid of their life. They're afraid of confrontation, of conflict. And I'm not afraid of confrontation. I want to live this life until it's done. And I want to keep affecting people until it's done. Death will be an amazing experience, but I'm, I'm not going to make it happen. We manifest our death. I don't... What a waste. I feel a sense of freedom right now. Um, let me know what you think about the PayPal button. I'm interested. I want to get. I want to get a consensus of the human race. What do you think about taking money for thought, which is essentially what it is? It'd be like I'd have a PayPal button on my website and donate. Then you donate to it if you want it. I'm not asking you to, but it'd just be there so that if if things were working as as I want, I will see. But that's the thing. I, then it's what I was gonna say is I'll be focused. I'll be able to focus all the time 
on just this exploration. But like, I still am. But what seems like a distraction is becoming less of a distraction. The restaurant, I've been, the last two days that I worked at the restaurant, I felt very, very at, at peace, under, understanding, like connecting with the people, all the people, the people at my tables, the people I work with, the people that speak Spanish really like making eye contact and listening even if they're not saying anything and then that's a challenge so but why do I want to get rid of that challenge is it laziness of course like why would I ask for money except for my own laziness but I'm not well, but I am asking I'm subversively asking for money if I put up a PayPal button is this why philosophers are always poor because they can't bring themselves to be paid for thought I don't, I don't, it doesn't sit well with me being paid for my own thought. I'm not doing physical labor for anyone. But then like, I am spending so much fucking time on YouTube. It's like a job. I mean, it is my job. The waiting tables is secondary. This exploration has become number one because it's everything else is connected to it. Okay, so anyway, I'm torn up. I'm torn about the money. I'm afraid of it, but maybe that's why I should confront it and have it is because I'm afraid of it because I want to do something good with it. I want to I want to help other people to help other people. Human race isn't going to be around forever. At least not in the incarnation that we know it. Things are changing, you know? Things are changing fast. And I guess if I wait around, it's like I don't money is like I I see it as kind of like the cause of all this chaos, but so if I don't become part of the system, how can I hope to affect the system? I can't do it from the outside. I can't affect the current system with no money, or can I? Of course I can. I can do anything. I think I am affecting the system without money, just by communicating. You see this constant circle that I'm running around in about this money? I mean, I've always been stressed out about money. I don't know. What, so what do you guys think? What do you think about asking for donations? PBS does it, but PBS isn't a philosopher, although they are just about showing information. It's like time consuming to make video, but I don't want to stop. But I'm not saying I will stop, but I just saying I don't want to stop. I want to keep doing this, and I would love to just do this all the time, just non-stop. All right, let me know what you guys think. I'm really, I'm, I'm really interested in hearing what, what you think about it. I am text comments, and about text. You know, I, I, I've been thinking a lot about text and talking a lot about text, talking in stick cam about it. Sometimes I don't, don't dislike it, but I do, I do see the power in video, which is why I'm so focused on video. And I think as when it comes to reading, reading itself is is okay, but what you do with the knowledge that you read, that's what's important. The book itself is just a piece of material. What you do with what's inside that book, how you use that information. Okay. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you guys soon. Let me know what you think. See ya.